All right, you guys, still want to check out how to make this a risograph effect in Photoshop inspired from Zed. I'm going to go with this artboard size. For the font, I'm going to go with Kenny and Coffee. I'm going to go with blue color. Click OK. Now make sure that you're on the text layer. Let's go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. Click on convert smart object. And I'm going to increase the radius all the way to 8. Click OK. And now we're going to apply a sharp effect to make the edges rounded. So let's go to the filter, sharpen, and click on on sharp mask. I'm going to go to the amount and increase it all the way to 500. And I'm going to decrease the threshold to 0. And as you can see, it's going to make it look more like a painting. And I'm going to adjust the radius. I'm going to go with 11.5. Click OK. I'm going to apply another unsharpen effect. Let's go to the filter. And as you can see, the unsharpen mask is going to appear here. Click on it. And I'm going to go and decrease the radius. I'm going to go with 8.7. Click OK. Let's go to the filter, distort, and select a ripple. Now first, let's go to the ripple size and make sure it's on large. And I'm going to go and increase the amount. I'm going to go with minus 110. Click OK. Now I can go and apply the color half tone. Let's go to filter pixelate and select color half tone. I'm going to go to the maximum radius, type in 7, click OK. I'm also planning to change up this blue color, so I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to go to color overlay and I'm going to go to the blend mode and I'm going to change up to color and I went with this orange, click OK, click OK. And now we're going to go to the blending options of this color half tone. We got the settings here, I double click on it and let's go to the mode, change it to lighten. And I'm going to decrease the opacity somewhere around 80. Click OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this text layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. Now the second layer, I won't need the color overlay anymore. I'm going to drag it into the bin because I'm going to go with the blue. And I'm going to go to the blend mode and change it to hard light. And I'm going to select the text and check this out. I'm going to drag it. And now we've got some colorful shading going on. I'm also going to go back to the blending options on the second text layer. Double click. And I'm going to decrease the opacity more. And check this out, the contrast is going to be stronger the more you decrease. Click OK. Now let's select the background layer. And I'm going to make some background texture. So let's go here, select solid color. And I'm going to type in here 20 to make it gray. Click OK. Let's go to the filter, pixelate, select color half tone, cover the smart object. And I'm going to go with like 5. Click OK. And I'm going to change the blend mode to vivid light and decrease the opacity all the way down. I'm going to go somewhere around 14. And I'm going to add another solid, select the background, add a solid. And this one, I'm going to make it a light orange. Click OK. I'm going to scroll up, select the top text layer. Let's go to the adjustments. And I'm going to select the curves. I'm going to add some contrast, something like this. Let's go back to the adjustments, select color balance, and I'm going to make it more warm. And I'm going to go back to the adjustments again, scroll down and select the threshold. Let's go to the blend mode and I'm going to change it to color burn. And here you can customize the settings, how much contrast you want, but I'm going to leave it here. And now, at least, let's add some grunge so we can meld these circles together. So select the top layer, press and hold Alt, and click on the new layer here, rename it as noise. Let's go to the blend mode and change it to overlay. Make sure to check fill with overlay neutral color. Click OK. Right click on the noise layer, convert to smart object. And let's go to the filter, noise and select add noise. I'm going to go with 36. Click OK. And this is how I make this risograph effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.